Morning and welcome to the channel. On this episode, what we're going to be looking at doing is wiring in a 240 volt hookup kit into this Volkswagen Transporter T6. Now, normally I would do this as the vehicle is being built, but on this particular one, this hasn't been added as the vehicle was built. So, what we're going to look at doing is reworking it into this one today. So, here we have our 240 volt hookup connection kit that we're going to be using on a Volkswagen Transporter T6. We've got the consumer unit with a polarity indicator light. We've got the flexible three core wiring with a 2.5 mil internal diameter. This is to come from the three pin hookup point here into the consumer unit, back out of the consumer unit, and then into the three pin plugs in the camper van itself. So we've also got an earth lead. This is to be mounted onto the earth bar in the consumer unit and then onto the chassis of the vehicle. We've got a three pin style surface mounted shoreline point. And with this on the back here, there is a gland that screws in and this just holds the wiring tight and ensures it can't be pulled out and also creates a watertight seal. We've got a nice surround here, which is to go around the three pin sockets that we've got. So on the back of the three pin sockets, you've got a plastic cover and in this you've got a uh, mount for the cable that comes through here and just ensures the cable can't be pulled out. If I take the back off of one here, as you can see, we've got the wiring mounts here. So we've got your earth, your neutral and your live. We've then got the self-adhesive uh, packet of cable tie clamps. So these will just be mounted in and then we will be using the cable ties to fix the wiring in place once we've got all the wiring run and we're happy with its location. We've got some self-tapping screws to be able to mount the hookup point and also to mount the consumer unit inside the van. So if I open up the consumer unit, you can see here that we've got our earth bar. You can see here in our RCD, we've got the neutral coming in and the live coming in from the three pin plug. We've then got the neutral and the live leaving the RCD, going into the MCB here, and then coming back out of here through these knockout boxes at the back here, and then into the three pin plugs on the van. And we'll go through that as we fit it onto the van. So now, as you can see here, we've got the underside of the vehicle and the weather really isn't on our side today, but we'll see how we go. So what we're gonna do is look at a rough position of where we might be able to mount the three pin hook up here on the underside of the vehicle, just making sure that the flap that we've got here opens properly. Um, and we've got a routing up for the cable into the vehicle. So we'll probably look to go up round here somewhere. So up behind the, just behind the exhaust, which is here. So up round into here somewhere. Um, and then we will look at coming up through into the cupboard. Um, we might be able to come up through and behind the cupboard here. So we just give you a bit of an insight to the cupboard there. I'll just grab the light so we can take a look. So then as you can see, we've got some existing wire in there. So what we'll probably do is run along, along the cupboard here and then into that trunking there. And then what we'll probably look at doing is mounting the fuse board the other side on this panel here. And if we come into the side of the van, as you can see here, We've already marked out roughly where we want the sockets to go. So this has already got an inverter in here and a 12 volt system. Um, so we want to put some 240 in as well so that when they're out at campsite, then they can hook up off of the power that's already there. So we've got this cupboard here, which you can see has got the backs of the sockets on for the 12 volt system. So, and the trunking comes up through the cabinetry there. So what we'll look at doing is putting our wiring into this trunking here and just coming, 
just above somewhere here and then we can make a nice bit of routing for the wiring here into our plug system. We have got this cupboard here, which is, as you can see, has already got the inverter in. And what we'll probably look at doing is mounting the fuse board, as I said, on this cabinet here, on the inside here, and then the pipe uh, cabling can run through from the other side into the fuse board here, and then up to the sockets above. Just jump back underneath the van, um, and we're just looking at some of these pre-existing holes. So I've just pulled out some of the rubber bungs just to see if any of the wiring may be able to go through here um, instead of drilling another hole into the chassis. Um, so I'm gonna have a look at this hole over here and see where this goes up to because it's already got some wiring in it, as you can see. Um, so what we'll do is we'll come up in the back of the vehicle and have a look and see what we can find in there. going to take the rear light out as well just to see if there's anything else I can see in here might help me just pull the wiring through a little bit easier this is just so there's two Phillips screws there and then you just pull it to one side. So in there we can't see a great deal because it looks as if it's just Ram pack full of insulation. Let's have a quick look on the next one down, see if we can see anything. Up. No, that's the same. So, the wiring that runs underneath there is the wiring for something in here because when I pull that, it all wiggles and moves, which is good. So now after a little bit of fighting around to get this wire uh, through, what I'm gonna do is take this onto here and then we can pull that up through from one of the existing grommets that we've already got in place on the van. So as we pull it through, we just want to do it nice and slowly so that we don't get any burn on the cable internally. Now got that most of the way through so we just want to mock it up roughly where we want it underneath we can lose a bit of cable inside the vehicle itself um, if we do leave it a little bit too long
I'm gonna so what I'm gonna do now is just take some of these spline bits out that we've got and we're gonna take out the check strap here so that we can uh, see if we can get a bit of vantage point have a look see if we can uh, feed this plastic piece of wire that we've got here back through so we can then pull the cable into the van itself Now that I've moved the insulation out of the way, what I've done is I've just got myself a bit of brake pipe here. I've just put a bend in it, as you can see at the top. Um, and what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and hook from the inside this wire back through, because I can see it, but I just can't get to it. So as you can see, now manage to pull some of it through. I'll just pull. And there we have it, that's the end that I need. So I can just pull this back through here. Like so. And then again, what I'll do is I'll just take this end back onto here and then pull that through into the hole that we've made on the inside of the cupboard. have to take your time with pulling the wire in through it can be a bit frustrating it does take a bit of time and again just pulling that through nice and gently one end through as you pull that end. Just tuck that through there. Just to get that out of the way. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same brake pipe tool that I made here a moment ago. I'm just gonna try and pull the insulation back down um, so that it sits back in place the best that I can get it. As you can see, I've now managed to pull all the insulation back down and in place. So what we can do is just give all this a quick clean and then we'll just pop these plugs or these rubber connectors, should I say bungs, back in and out the way. Now that we've cleaned all this area up, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop the check strap back in the door um, and I'm just gonna pop these rubber bungs back in, pop the light back in and we just do that as we go and it just makes it a bit easier when it comes to putting it all back together at the end. Check that light lines up the same as the other side. <coughs> yep. So now what we can do is take this wiring off here, pop this wire back in to the cupboard there and take this out of the way. So what we will do now is we'll look at 
wiring in this, um, the three pin socket. And then what we can do is we can look at fixing that to the underside of the vehicle as well. We can drill a small hole in this bung here so that the wiring can go through. And then we can just pop this one back in place. So next thing is we've got our cable gland that we're going to slide up the wire so that's out of the way. And then once we wire this in, we can just screw that in place, tighten that in, and then that will stop the cable from pulling free from this. So we just slide that right up out of the way. And if we just tighten it slightly, it should just hold it in place and stop it from coming away from that. So we just undo the Phillips screw on the top here. Just pop that out the way. We just slide that out like that, and then here. We've got our live in, our earth, and our neutral. So our live in is on the far right here. We've got our earth in the middle, which you probably won't be able to see, but there's just a little earth sign just in there. And then we've got our neutral on the far left here. Now taken off the outer prote uh, protection sheathing that we've got. So we've got our live here, we've got our earth here, and our neutral here. And we'll just wire them into these. As you can see here, that none of the actual wiring here is on show. So the the wire protection sheathing should be right up to where the connector points are, just to make sure that no wires are on show there. So then what we're gonna do, we'll just check that they're nice and tight. Give them all a individual pull to make sure that they have been connected. Slide this Land back, land back down. Tighten that in place by hand, and then we just undo, and we just do up this top piece here, and that just holds the wire nice and snug, so that you can't pull it off, and then. Just slide that outer cover back on. That just clips in place like that. And we just pop the securing screw back in. So now I've popped the grommets back in on the underside of the vehicle. And what I will do is I'll try and show you that once I've completed the install of the um, hook up point onto the underside of the vehicle um, is a bit awkward to film but I'll try and uh, get that for you so what I'm going to do now is I've got a couple of self tapping screws um, I'm going to drill one of the holes through which I've marked and then put that in loosely line it up make sure that it all looks nice and square with the back of the vehicle and then I'll drill the other hole and fix it in place As I say, I've already marked one of the holes that I want. I'll just drill this through. Just gonna take a look at that from the back of the vehicle there. Just make sure that we're happy with the location. Yeah, and 
then. So just use the drill bit to mark that hole. accessible that's now nice and tight onto there just push that wiring up a little bit further into there you just check it's not touching on anything so as you can see there Got it nice and flush under there. And then we take a look underneath. We've just put it through one of the existing grommets. We've got our gland on the back there. We've got it all secure in place. This opens fully so we can pop the plug in. So now we're on to the next bit. So now we're in the van itself, what we can start to do is take out some of the bits we've got in here, um, like the gas bottle, some other bits and pieces, and then we can look at mounting the fuse board on the back cupboard here. So now what I'm gonna do is just offer the fuse board up in place, roughly to where we're gonna want it to sit. We just need to ensure as well that the gas bottle's not going to be in the way and just make sure that that's nice and level as well. What I am going to do as well is because I want to take this faceplate cover off I'm just going to disconnect these wires so I'm going to mark one of them and just put a little mark to one side on this um, faceplate cover here just so we know which way they go back around when we put them back on. As you can see there I've just marked that wire there and then I've just put a tiny little mark in the corner just so I know which way around they go. So I've just popped that off. So I've just grabbed myself a little spirit level and what we'll do is we'll pop this in place and then we can just run a level along the bottom here we can drill through these two holes here into the wood there and then secure that like that so what I've done now is I've just taken the RCD and the MCB out of the way um, just so that I can drill through the uh, plastic consumer unit base um, to then put the wiring through from the other side um, and I'm going to use some extra glands that I picked up as well just to hold that wiring so that it can't be pulled out from the cupboard if you were trying to pull out some equipment or something that you had in there and it snagged on the cabling so that's why I'm fitting these extra ones. going to go around to the other side and drill through a bit there just so I don't punch my way through the cupboard and damage the back side of the cupboard. So there we go that's once one of them. Um, I'm just going to drill another one to come out of the consumer unit and go back up to the sockets. All right so now that that's done I'm just going to have a quick hoover up. So for the moment we're just going to get the worst of it off and we'll have a proper clear up later. 
So what I've done is I've now taken the base unit back off of the cupboard here itself and I've just screwed in the two glands that I bought extra just for this kit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this back in place now so that what will happen is the wiring will come through each of these glands and then when we're finished and all the wiring's in place I just tighten these up and that will stop the uh, wiring being pulled out the back of the fuse board. So that's now nice and secure in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push the wiring through from the hookup plug that we wired in earlier. So I've now pulled the wire through, as you can see, from inside the cupboard there, and I've just lightly um, cable tied it in place where I want it to go, just so I know that I've got the right amount of routing. So now what I'm gonna look at doing is putting the RCD and such back onto the baseboard there, and then mocking up roughly where I want the wiring to go, and then I can cut it to length. And what I am gonna do also is I'm gonna look at soldering the ends um, so that I can just fold them over and put them into the bottom here and I'll get a nice tight connection um, but we can go through that. So basically what I've done here is I've just taken off double what I would normally on these wires here and then I'm going to put a piece of solder along each one and then I can fold them back on themselves and put them into the fuse board itself. So what we've done now is we've wired in the wire coming from the hookup into the RCD. What I'm gonna do now is a similar process with this off-cutter wiring that I've got. I'll put some solder on the ends and then we can put that into the MCB afterwards. Right, so what I've done is I've now just put some solder on the ends of these um, so then I can just pop those into the MCB and onto the earth bar and then put this wiring through up for where the sockets are going to go. So now I can just show you what I've been doing in the cupboard here. So we've got the bottom wire on the left hand side is the wire coming from the hookup three pin. So you've got the neutral going in coming out along the neutral bar into the MCB and then the neutral out to the 1.5 mil wire that goes off up to the socket. You've got the live in and the live out. You've got the earth and then you've got the earth that I've just clipped on down here as well so that we'll probably mount that to the same earth that's on the body there. So the next thing we've got to look at is just popping the cover back on, putting these two wires back in that we had out. And then we can look at running the wire up for the socket and then putting the socket into the cupboard. So as you can now see, we've just put the cover back on to the fuse board itself. We've run the wiring up behind. And then if we come out of here, into here you can see the conduit where the uh, existing wiring is for these sockets and we've just run it up in that conduit, just laid it across the top here. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop the sockets in along here. So that's what we'll get on with next. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna move the uh, little coffee machine out of the way. I'm gonna take the um, cover off of the back of these sockets and have a look in there. And I just want to see how this one's fixed in, just so we can do it the same in here. just bring you back round to this one as you can see in here I've now taken the back cover off and we've just got some circular holes here that are cut out for the um, existing plugs there so that's how we'll look to do it I'm gonna 
to do is just measure this here just so that we can mark out our centre point further up. a level here we can mark up to where the center of this is so we know we're going to want that there so we can just put a little mark there so we know that that goes there Can just do to check as well. Oh no, it's not. So there is level. As you can see, these will just sit in here like this with the surround on and some little grub screws to hold them in place. As you can see, these will just sit like that. that piece and then a surround here. And now what I look to do is just get these marked out in place where it's level.
just found some smaller self-tapping screws. this off out of the way. There you go, that's now all clipped in. Um, and as you can see, we've got a nice tidy finish there. We will just give all this a really good clean later. So we're going to want something like that. So if we mark that, just hold that cable there, slide this further down, and then cut into that like so. I'm just making up another piece of wire just so that that can come from here into this one next to it. So again, as we wire these in, we just want to make sure that the insulation is right the way up to where the clamp connector is here, just to ensure that there's no bare wires showing. So we'll tuck that live around here so we just give those a, a pull as well just to make sure that they're in place correctly Same for the live there. And then on these, you also have a knockout section here. We just pull that out like that. And we can feed that wire through.
for now we've had a bit of a clear up i'm just going to show you some of the cable routing in this cupboard that we spoke about earlier so as you can see i've just run the cable along here and down where some of the existing cabling is and just tied it off with those self, self adhesive clips and then the uh, zip ties there so if we go around to the other side as well i'll show you that earth we spoke about earlier So I've just put the earth wire in from the consumer unit in this trunking and then down to the chassis itself there. So now that everything's in place, we're just going to switch it all on and then we can test the sockets. We're just going to pop that into the extension lead. So that's now in place. So we come round to the consumer unit here. I'm just gonna flip that on. And then we've turned the sockets on here. We've got no light on, which is good. And if we come up to our sockets here, and we just pop our plug in, we can see we've got the two green beeping away and no red. So we've got that wired in all correctly. Now we're going to fit the most important part into any camper. So that's it guys, we're all done here. Uh, we've given ourselves a nice cup of tea as a celebration because we finished it all, wrapped it all up. Um, everything's in place as we wanted it. The job's gone really well. I'm really pleased with the outcome. So if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget to click the like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.